Good evening, fellow plant game enthusiasts. Welcome back to another video. Not a standard video, but a video of explaining how does purple Pikmin work in this game. Now we all know that purple Pikmin and white Pikmin were not featured in Pikmin 3's vanilla story because Nintendo was dumb and they got nerfed. So I'm bringing them back in a way, sorta. Not perfectly because this game is nothing like Pikmin 2. You cannot have your own coding, okay? We try to look at the code and it's like hard to tell what you're editing. So if you want to just experience migraines 24 seven, be my guest. But as of now, I'm okay. I'm gonna do this way instead. You know, cause I like looking at maps that I can see. Like this map, for example. Anyways, this is re Pikmin 3 Deluxe story mod that I've been posting about recently. And a lot of you ask me, how does Pro Pikmin work? And how do the whites gonna work? Like how do the candy pop bugs work and stuff like that? So, I have a simple explanation up here. We'll walk up here. This is just an example placement. This is my move, but who knows. Yeah, so I have made custom files here to read. It's under this stuff here. Purple Pikmin can deal a lot of damage after a charge attack. You may carry... 25 out at a time. So yes, let me explain that. The charge attack has been increased. The damage has been increased. Um, their stun, unfortunately, won't work. As that's hard-coded into the game. And there's no real way to change that. Unless you risk, you know, causing the game to have a seizure. But, but uh, this is pretty much how it's going to work. You will have to simply charge them to do damage, because they do a lot of damage, I buff their damage. Because their stun sucks. It does nothing in this game. It it's, it plays a sound, it appears like it does something, but it does not. It's actual booty. Um, so, also what it said there, it says uh, you can only carry 25 at a time. That's right. Because I've made it so that if you have 25 purple Pikmin, a flower will stay, but if you have 26, such as this. If you have 26, the flower will disappear. Now, I can change the limit, but I'm trying to balance the limit of how many Pikmin types you can have at the field at once. So, I think 25 is a pretty pretty solid number. You know, because you can choose between the max 25 or you can have a little less. Um, there's no way to store them. So, when sunset comes, how the heck does that even happen? When sunset comes... If you throw them back into the flower, like it says here, I'll bring it back for you guys to read. Sorry, I destroyed the page. At sunset, toss them back into the flower and they'll be safe overnight. The flower will disappear if you make 26 purple Pikmin. So, that's the way it's gonna be for now. Um, I'll have eggs respawn, so because every time you throw them in the flower, they become leaves again. So, I'll have eggs around the map just to, to flower them again. So, they still have their... Uh, carry the weight of 10 Pikmin. They still have their strong damage, which I buffed because honestly, I don't know why they nerfed them. I don't know why they nerfed them to give Rock Pikmin some shine and the absence of caves. But as you can see, they do they do a lot of damage on if you charge them pretty well. And as you can see, the stun over here. I'll show on the frog. Come here, guy. Come here. Frog legs. It does nothing. It's, it sucks. It's booty. So that's why Purple Pikmin in this game suck. Um, so yeah. So and when sunset comes, you just toss them back into the flower. They'll be safe overnight. And you'll get them back the next day. They won't die. So the reason why that is, is because these Pikmin technically don't exist in... Uh, in the story mode, if that, ex that makes sense. Because, for example, if you pluck one of these guys, you have 89 in the field. But if I throw these two... Okay, no, no, you don't, you don't do that. <laughs> the number would typically go down sometimes. It's not doing it now, but it does it whenever it wants, practically. So if you don't throw them into the flower, they'll just vanish. But uh, if you just throw them back in, in the flower, then they'll be kept overnight. And I think when they vanish, it counts as death, so... If you want no death run, you're gonna have to... 
you know, toss them into the flower. So I think it'll make a pretty interesting challenge when we do spicy mode, because I will edit the spicy mode and it's gonna be 60 Pikmin cap, so don't put all 25 in that flower. Or if you want to do purple ones only, go ahead, be my guest, play this mod however you want. But uh, yeah, this game is so finicky. Uh, like if you just move an egg two centimeters to the right on the wrong story flag, it will crash. Like if you, if you remember that one video, that that awesome glitch video that Gunna made, glitching Pikmin 4 to its limits. And if you uh, if you mess something up in this game, it'll crash, as you saw in Hef stream. But <laughs> uh, that that's the thing. Like even though it crashes a lot, but I'm having fun with it. You know, the mod's coming up pretty cool. I'm gonna release a demo soon, so look out for that, guys. Um, but that's pretty much all I want to explain. The same thing goes for White Pikmin, by the way. If you're curious about how the White Pikmin file works, it's the same thing. You just throw them back at the end of the day, and you'll you'll get them back. It's all the way over here. See, you need yells to get it. But yeah, some some of the order in this model remain the same. Some will change. I won't reveal. I won't spoil too much, but. It's up for you guys to experience yourself. I don't want to give everything. Okay, he's drowning. <laughs> yeah, I've still got a lot of things to work on, so I'll wrap it up pretty soon. It's gonna be pretty cool once this mod comes out. So yeah, just wanted to explain how this game works. There's nothing like Pikmin 2 hacking. This is this game is a pain in the butt. My goodness, man. All right, that's pretty much it. That's all I have to say. If you have any more questions, you can join the Discord server. Or you can leave a comment. But yeah, thanks for watching. Stay tuned, and I'll be uploading some more videos soon. And I'll be releasing this demo soon, so keep a uh, lookout for that. That epic sauce. Alright, catch you later, guys. See ya.